and look at the way you all look. I think even if my passport were to be lost, I would be with you. <laughs> And the Chinese government will not be able to find out, except by my size, I think. <laughs> I come from a very young country, sirs. You may know India in different ways. You may know India by being an ancient country. You may know our country by its diversity of, you know, culture, religion, and speech of languages. But sirs and madams, my dear brothers and sisters of China, we want to let you know that we are a very young country, not only in terms of independence, but a young nation, where 70% of the population of the country is below the age of 35. My dear brothers and sisters, India is arriving to the world. India is arriving to the world and not to threaten anybody, but to bring about peace, but to bring about satisfaction, unity among all the nations of the world. I do am young, just as I speak, and I'm not married too. <laughs> India is growing, but in the growth that India is going to have, it is going to take together the nations of the world. And let it be known to our Chinese brothers and sisters that just as our my speak, uh, one of the speakers, the predecessor had spoken, we share common mountains, we share common rivers, we share our ancient religion and our, you know, beliefs. Let it be known that divides us. Let it be us that unites our people. We have to find the roots of the common ground that was there and that will be there and that will lead us to 2.5 billion population. Let me not put the wrong words. India and China together arriving to the world would be quite you know, threatening for many other nations. But we are a peace-loving country. And our countries are co-joined together not only by our mountains and the strength of the Himalayas or the great mighty rivers, but also by the strength of our heart, by the strength of our culture, and by the strength of a common future together. I come from a small state called Nagaland, where the population is maybe two million, very small. Today I went to a factory that takes care of the waste and energy of 40 lakh people, and we are not even 20 lakh, sir. We are just maybe around 17 to 18 lakh. 